Okay, and here's my breakfast, the typical eggs, bagels. Ah. Hey guys, I just dropped my parents off at the airport. Gatsby is very, very well behaved. My parents were just like so shocked. My dad was so shocked. He's like, this is like the smartest, like you couldn't find a better dog right now. So he's awesome. Look at this. Like he already knows how to, he's already potty trained. He's so well behaved too. Look at that. <laughs> hey guy, what's up? Being only eight weeks old, he's incredibly smart. Can't wait to get him outside when he gets all of his shots, which is in 16 weeks, unfortunately, which is four months. Since he is uh, such a baby, he still gets a little bit of separation and anxiety. So if he's by himself, he's kind of he doesn't like it because he's so used to being around his mom and his brothers and sisters. I was like, maybe I should just play my vlogs in the background for him, and then you can hear my voice. Another goal of mine is to definitely get him socialized and to make sure to introduce him to everything because what I read online and it seems to be really true is that a puppy up to 12 weeks old is very accepting of everything and after 12 it starts becoming very fearful of things kind of like Bentley who's afraid of everything so I have to make sure that I introduce him to everything. For example, I was vacuuming last night and he was totally fine with it. He was like, oh look, it's a vacuum. And he like sniffed it and he hung out near the bath vacuum. Other than that, he's pretty good. Figured out the place that Gatsby likes to hang out, right by the refrigerator here. There he is, he's so tiny. The refrigerator is warm and has a humming noise. Kind of, I think it reminds him of like his mom or like his litter mates. Gatsby has been so good that I actually closed up his playpen. I realized that he actually does like the kitchen area a lot more. So I moved a lot of his stuff to the kitchen. When I'm gone, I usually just move this kennel all the way up to the kitchen to block it off. And it seems like that's been working a lot better. He hasn't cried when I was gone or anything like that. Oh, hey, come on. Look at his tail. <laughs> Which one do you like? Which one do you like? He's like, hey, I love you. So he has like a um, like a scarf. See, it goes around his head here, and it goes all the way around. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? <laughs> nah. There, take this. He doesn't understand the concept of fetch it. He just likes to chase the ball and run back. Here it goes. Go and get it. Go and get it. Come back. Come back. Come back. While my parents were here, they went and did a giant Costco run for me. And so guess what they got me? They got me my own blender, finally! Woo! Remember, if you remember a while ago, I used to use my old roommate Aaron's Vitamix blender, which was really, really awesome. They got me the Ninja one because the Vitamix is like so ridiculously expensive. It's like $500. So we'll try this Ninja one out. Anyway, I have all these ingredients for the smoothie. I usually like to make green smoothies, but the problem is that I don't really have that many greens right now. I do have baby kale, so we're gonna use that. We got our strawberries, some frozen pineapple here, blueberries, some lemon juice here. I'm gonna chop up an apple, and then the apple, and two carrots here. This cucumber looks pretty mean. I'm probably just gonna cut it in half. Oh, I found some celery. Adding the baby kale here. Ooh. Okay, now chia seeds and some green superfood. Gotta add some ice and some water, but this is getting pretty full, so I'll probably do that last. Okay, let's try this out now. I've never tried this before. I don't even know how to use it. I'm gonna add some ice now. Definitely not as strong as the Vitamix. I had to run this like four times as long. Okay, let's see how this turned out. Okay, let's try it. It tastes super berry-like. <laughs> More kale. More. And there it is. It's a super strawberry green shake here. It's like tons of green stuff in there. <laughs> He's like, what is this noise coming from the dishwasher?
So I just get back from the gym. I went to PetSmart and got him some more presents. He was chewing on a lot of fabric and I noticed I didn't have any soft things for him to chew on other than Yoda. So I got him this. This looks pretty fun. It's called Happy Mop. You can shake it around. And this, Gentle Play. It's like a different kind of chewing. Super, super soft. Little fox. Also, I got him some rawhide sticks because I don't have any bones for him yet. Hey, Gatsby. I got you a new toy. He <laughs> got... It looks like a dead fox in his mouth <laughs> that he killed. Oh, there's a squeaker in there? I didn't even know. <laughs> Did you kill him? Did you get him? Fox is like, ow! Fa 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 fa! Gatsby, what does the fox say? Whoa! Is that how you kill the fox? Yes, let's name him Fantastic Mr. Fox. There's Gatsby, the great Gatsby and Fantastic Mr. Fox. Go get it! Go get it! Go get it! Bring it back! Bring it back! Good, Gatsby! This is Gatsby's area now. He was just sleeping. I think the camera woke him up. <laughs> my mom filled up my fridge, so I'm making some pork buns and Brussels sprouts and some rice here. Wow, he's He really loves this kitchen. It's so funny. Um, even when I open him up to the whole apartment, he loves. He just comes back to the kitchen, and he hasn't been barking or crying like he did when I got him. We're frying some Brussels sprouts with butter. The baby woke up. We're just watching a movie together, me and Gatsby. And look, look where he decided to hide. You see his tail? Look, he's hiding right here. <laughs> this is where he wants to sleep. Oh, there he goes. Anyway, I just finished watching the movie The Way Way Back. I thought I would just tell you really quickly how much I liked it which was a lot. I liked it. It was uh, my uncle suggested to me. Steve Carell, Tony Collette, Allison Janney, Anna Sophia Robb, uh, Sam Rockwell, along with a lot of other ones. It does remind me a lot of another movie that I really, really loved, which was The Perks of Being a Wallflower, which is also about another protagonist who almost looks exactly the same in a coming of age story. This one was not as good as Perks of Being a Wallflower, but having said that, it was still very, very good. It's a pretty feel-good movie, and I really, really liked it. I would highly recommend seeing it if you haven't seen it. Out of four stars for The Way Way Back, I would give it three and a half. So I'm getting ready to go to bed. There's Gatsby playing with his Yoda doll there. Got his pee mat all set. Oh, looks like he peed. And we have him blocked off in the kitchen. with. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Now it's Gatsby's time to go to the vet. He's gonna get his little checkup here. Sniffing. <laughs> We're at the vet. <laughs> you don't seem that nervous or anything. Yeah, you did. Happy too. Yeah, no, just drooling all over the place. Turns out he's all healthy. Ooh. We're gonna see him back in a month for his, for his 